Hello everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for weatherweb.net. This is your look at the video today on Saturday 23rd of May. Just a quick look through what we're going to expect over this next week ahead or so. And more details as always in the fast forecast video for the next two days ahead. So your bank holiday Monday outlook and also for Tuesday there. Here's the jet stream forecast then for this week ahead. And these are the wind speeds at 300 millibars, around 30,000 feet up in the atmosphere. Just running this through, this is where we start with for Saturday and Sunday. The jet stream towards the northwest of the country, um, generally uh, between uh, Britain and Iceland, but just a nose of it dipping southwards as the front moves through uh, late on Sunday. Generally, though, the jet stream towards the north, so always pushing uh, rain bearing fronts uh, more towards the northwest of Scotland, uh, whilst southern areas stay dry and warmer on the whole as we go into early next week. Just notice those who go through Wednesday, this is now Wednesday through into Thursday, just getting a little bit more uh, pronounced across the country, just dipping a little bit further south. And this is the indication then that towards the end of the week, we're just going a little bit more unsettled and uh, rain and showers may just become a bit more widespread by Friday and next weekend. There's the chart uh, for the 30th of May at the end of next Saturday. And just to compare that with the surface pressure chart then, here's uh, starting off with the current time through Saturday daytime. Just uh, knocking that through into Sunday. There's the uh, band of rain weak front that's moving southwards during Sunday daytime. High pressure always uh, stationed out towards the southwest of Britain. That's uh, a broadly uh, slow moving feature here. Low pressure also pretty slow moving towards the north. Here's through until about Wednesday now. It's just gradually that story of uh, rain bearing fronts getting a bit nearer and by Friday low pressure developing a bit more widely uh, towards our northwest and that high having subsided well away into the Atlantic and just the indication uh, of things becoming a bit more changeable. There may not be uh, huge amounts of rain, but just uh, more in the way of showers developing and uh, breezier as we head towards next weekend. For that low, just showing some signs of pulling northwards, but the detail becoming a bit more difficult by this stage on these charts. Here's your total rainfall through to the end of this week or the back end of the week. Most in the way of rainfall across western Scotland, but I think take the values here with some caution. Just generally the wettest areas here towards the eastern side of the Pennines, across much of the Midlands, the south of England, likely to be less than 10 millimetres of rain throughout this next week ahead. Looking a bit more widely at rainfall across Europe, then most of it across uh, central southeastern parts, Italy, the Balkan region, through into Turkey as well. Some heavy falls of rain and some thunderstorms too in this region as well. But a few, a few uh, thundery bursts of rain moving up through uh, eastern Europe, across into Russia as well. Notice some uh, looks like thundery rain across North Africa too, may just graze into the southeast of Spain and there's some rain at times for France, but on the whole, uh, Western Europe, Northwestern Europe through into France and Germany, that bit drier, not too much rainfall coming through, but across the western side of Scandinavia with westerly winds here, uh, rainfall is that bit more frequent. So just a quick look round there at things uh, developing over this next week ahead. Simon had a bit more detail on the outlook for June and El Nino as well in yesterday's look ahead video, which is still available if you uh, click on the video on the site here to have another look at or if you missed it yesterday. I'll leave you with that for today. Thank you for watching and bye for now.